Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on October 30th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to The Daily Dew, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we saw two large plasma filaments eject from our sun, one from the northwest limb, one from the southeast antipode reaction here on our sun. As posted earlier this morning, if you haven't seen the short, please check it out. Share with your friends. Quick way to share the channel. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, still have some plasma filaments dancing around the surface, turning into view, and as well a large sunspot region that has been very active. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, this is where we saw the large plasma filament eruption right there. And wow, that was huge standing probably 20 Earths tall. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events and as well notable sunspot regions that are Earth-facing. And of course, those darkened regions, which are coronal holes, they do increase our solar wind speeds when they're Earth-facing. Right now, solar winds are coming in at like 500 kilometers per second. Amazing images of our sun today, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for watching, pressing play here with the Dew Crew community. Much love. We have 10 sunspot regions and 3879 is a beast. Watch this, folks. Having a look at the, all the sunspot regions in motion, 10 of them, but two of them that are turning in 3879 is a beast. This is a very a large sunspot. A little Earth to scale comparison there you can fit about six Earths inside this sunspot. That's getting ready for the Earth Bracing Party. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts and as well S2 solar radiation impacts. Still, and solar winds are coming in at 517 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing a minor M-class solar flare just now and as well another one early this morning. Other than that, it's been in the C range. Solar proton flux coming down into the S1 and geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP2 right now. This is the most recent Space Weather Prediction Center spiral. No new CMEs, but we do have space weather on its way as the CME models have not been introduced here. But look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. That is a large CME set to give us a solar storm impact November 2nd into the 3rd. So watch for Aurora Borealis and as well Northern Lights with this next solar storm arriving November 2nd and into the 3rd. Having a look at tonight's Aurora forecast versus tomorrow's. It's pretty diminished. Last go three, showing the last three days of imagery. We did have that sun diving comet that was not Atlas. Other YouTubers out there are saying that Atlas crashed into the sun, but it did not. This is the look at our last three days of imagery, not including our most recent CME from the big plasma filament eruption. Now let's get to earthquakes as we just had a large 6.0 earthquake banned in Oregon. No tsunami watch in effect, but the buoys are going off. USGS reporting this at a 10 kilometer depth. Happened at 2015 UCT, UTC time. 183 earthquakes the last 24 hours. That's pretty low compared to what is average. But a large 6.0 earthquake banned in Oregon, right on the fault line. Having a look here, USGS says no tsunami warning, watch, or advisory. 
But when you look at the national do, uh, buoy data, you can see one station has gone into event mode. Not rising much, only about a half a centimeter. But still, notable. No tsunami with this earthquake right by the Thompson Seamount. Juan de Fuca Plate finally seeing some action. 6.0 magnitude. You can see a lot of unrest all of a sudden has gone quiet across North American Plate. Caribbean Plate 4.7 here reported Colombia. That was yesterday. And as well, notable earthquakes here. Puerto Rico, sizable 4.3. Oja. And as well, down into Argentina with a 4.9, San Antonio do de Cobros. Southern Mid Atlantic Ridge with a 5.0 magnitude and a 5.1 here. Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, 152 kilometer depth, and that is right by the Michael Volcano. 4.5 earthquake here reported Rosetta, Egypt. That was yesterday. In the Mediterranean, north of Egypt. Then look at these deep earthquakes today. Papua New Guinea, 6.0 magnitude, 521 kilometer depth. No tsunami with that earthquake. As well, deep earthquakes ringing out throughout Fiji. All of a sudden, we're seeing them pile up. 4.7 here. Uh, Macquarie Island region, south of New Zealand. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes, largest being the 6.0 Bend in Oregon and as well Papua New Guinea. Have a quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the planet. Notable earthquake in northern Alberta, fracking region this week. And the quiet Fiji region has all of a sudden reawakened. So stay tuned. We could see something even bigger here over the next 24 hours. You live in an earthquake-prone zone. Be ready and have a plan. Much love, everybody. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes across the world. Still very large eruptions at Popopoketatl and as well eastern Russia, Kamchatka. Big plumes from there. No new notable eruptions today but still intense SO2 plumes coming out of Africa, central regions through the Congo. And then overlooking in New Zealand, Southeast Asia, and all through Malaysia. Notable plumes coming out towards Guam. Sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by 60 seven active and erupting volcanoes now let's have a look at our wind forecast as it's set to get pretty windy it already is windy today but it's going to get even windier tomorrow some very big systems that are scooting across the north pole right now and around as the northern polar vortex is trying to set up we've got some extremely warm temperatures this week for eastern canada and the united states but look at these systems in the long range boy oh boy have we got some nasty systems here building for North America in the long range. As well, atmospheric river of moisture for BC and very windy events. So yeah, this next little while, watch for big changes in the Northern Hemisphere. Watch for the temperatures to start dropping. By the first week of November, by November 7th into the 8th, you're going to see things really shift. But before that, we're going to see some rain through the east and then high pressure ridge moves in, keeping things warm and dry for another few days. And then by the 3rd into the 4th, big low pressure system scooting across central United States and up into Canada, set to bring some extreme weather with that. So transition from cold air fueling down from the northern polar vortex. Overlooking South America and Africa, no major systems affecting you this week and no major hurricanes developing through the Atlantic. A couple areas of interest, but no forecasted hurricanes here. Overlooking Europe, multiple snowy and windy systems will be affecting northern shores of 
Norway and Finland. Other than that, High Pressure Ridge is going to be locked in over central regions. Overlooking Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia. We do have a typhoon on Taiwan's doorstep just grazing the northern Philippines as a Cat 3. This thing ramped right up into a Category 3 hurricane or typhoon overnight. Having a look at this beast right now, it is, as it is just south of Taiwan, forecasted here, making landfall tonight into tomorrow as a Cat 3 or possible Cat 4. It could even form into a Cat 4 tonight. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected in Taiwan, typhoon there. And then a long-range forecast overlooking the Pacific Ocean here. You're going to see some big things and big changes happening. Multiple winter storms, snowy systems scooting in off of Russia. Long atmospheric river of moisture stretching from the Philippines all the way to the BC coastline, everybody. Big changes on our planet. Winter's right around the corner. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.